What's up y'all, it's me Noble. Today I'm doing a video on how to sell on Depop. Sell your stuff online and make some coins because not many people know about Depop. So I'm gonna show y'all today how you can sell your items and all of the information you need on how to start because anybody can start. Now the opening up the account is very self-explanatory. You'll just need your email address, password, all of that. But I'm just gonna show you guys how to start listing things up. My closet page is XO Noble XO. I wish it was Noble X Closet, but they won't let me change my name, so it's XO Noble XO for now. I have it on screen and link down below because I will have a lot of stuff listed up as we speak. So, it's a lot. It's a lot. Let me show y'all. We got this bag here. We got this bag here. And these shoes. You're probably wondering, like, girl, why you have this much stuff? And it's because I have phases where I'm, like, growing out of a style, transitioning into a new style. So, a lot of clothes that I have had for a couple months or a year, I don't like anymore. But I know someone else will find value in it. So, I pick out those items out of my closet or my drawers. And I save it for later. I put it, like, in a trash bag or a bag like this. And I'm, like... This is what I'm going to post up on Depop. So there are do's and do's not just selling on Depop. Yeah. Promote, promote, promote. That means promote your Depop on your Instagram, your TikTok, anywhere. Promote your Depop because if you don't promote it, nobody's really going to see it. You have to promote whether that's like literally with anything, your business, a YouTube channel, you have to promote. You're the only person that's got to promote the way you want it to be promoted so you got to promote yourself two would be to make sure that you're actually getting a profit out of something so let's say you did buy something for five going up to like a six or seven dollars is okay because i mean they're paying for it. if it's something that is not on the site anymore that's also something you have to take into account so if you bought something that's no longer being sold on the site you should go up a little bit because no one's gonna get anywhere else like it's exclusive but yes make sure you're doing a profit because if you bought something for five and you sell it for three dollars you gotta think about shipping and all that like ma'am you're you're getting like a dollar in profit but if you're cool with that do that if you're not getting a profit you're just giving away free stuff because you didn't get any gain so you know what i'm saying your background is key you may think it doesn't matter, but the whole picture is what matters. So the piece alone and the background, okay? Because you can't just be posing it up on your bed and like we see Dorito crumbs. Like that's just like an indicator that this is not going to be like the cleanest thing ever. So make sure that your background looks really nice. You can get these on Amazon for like nothing. So make sure that your background, even if it's just like a basic white wall or you know you can even go outside and the grass is a really nice background green is a really nice color to use green red and blue is actually marketing colors so if you use red blue or green these pop at people's eye so you want to bring it in and then lighting is another thing make sure your lighting is right i have a ring light got this for like 30 bucks maybe and it's a really powerful tool so take advantage of your lighting and your background do not sell low quality items, meaning if something is dingy, has holes in it, don't sell it. For one, nobody's going to buy it. And for two, people are going to look at that and say, okay. This person really does not care about the quality of what they're selling. So make sure that you're selling quality pieces. Two, do not sell things for more than what it's worth. So if you buy something on Shein for $5, you try to sell it for 10 you're bugging. Like, nobody's going to buy that because they can go to Shein and get it for $5 cheaper. The original price so don't try to get over on people because it's not gonna work or you may work with it but you're gonna get your karma because it's not right and my third don't is to not over post if you post too much in one day you need do not post like 10 20 items in one day because like you're not giving people time to really like see everything it's gonna be over saturated and stuff and then like now, it seems like the 10 year stuff's not gonna show as much and like people's recommended. So, quality over quantity when it comes to selling on Depop. Less is more sometimes. Less is more. So, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of my items and then we're gonna get in how to price things, how to take the pictures of the items, how to post it up, all of that. But, dang, that was up. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys some dingy items that you should not sell and then I'm gonna show y'all stuff. That is worth selling. So you guys see these are some really cute brown sweatpants, right? But when you really look closely, it has bleach stains, oil stains, and such. So if I were to sell these, these would literally go up for $2 because that is how much 
to me it looks like it's worth because who's really gonna wear these anywhere except for around the house like don't sell stuff with stains would you buy this no no exactly here's the next example now first glance you're like this is a pretty cute shirt you know and it's from fashion nova it's cropped it's a nice blue color and when you turn it over here and you look on the sleeve what is that it's got stains my boy don't nobody want no stained shirt don't sell it here's another example now these shoes are very trendy and cute right but get into the quality of what it really looks like if i sell these they'll be scrubbing for days do not sell dirty shoes clean them beforehand if you're going to sell dirty shoes do not put them out looking like this. Think of Depop as your own personal thrift store. Have you guys ever went to like Goodwill and you're searching and everything just looks like junk? You don't want your Depop to be full of junk. They're going to leave. You need quality pieces. So even if that's two quality pieces and you know maybe one person buys it versus five dingy pieces and nobody's buying. You see what I'm saying? So quality over quantity is what I'm trying to get to y'all about Depop. You got to know. Don't nobody want no Goodwill. We're trying to find quality pieces, exclusives. Keep that in mind. If you're someone that doesn't have, you know, the best pieces in your closet, you can always go to a thrift store and find really nice, cute pieces for the low low and sell them for a profit. This is what resellers are. So you can go to your Goodwill, play this closet, buy something for $10, sell it for $20, you made a $10 profit. That is something you can do. No bashing over here. Like, there's so many ways to make money. This is a way. So if you're interested in how to sell on Depop, keep watching. Get into it. So I'm gonna start with something small. These two purses here. This is a cow print purse. And then this one is like a color block. It's really cute. I just never got around to wearing it. And like, I'm not sure. I don't know, but it's really cute. These are really cute bags, right? So these are two things we're going to list up. Like I said, five is going to be my golden number. I'm going to do like five every once in a while. So these two bags. We're going to do some shoes too. So these are the Air Force One Shatter Bag Boards. Now these are replicas. If you're going to sell replicas, let people know. Not sell reps front and like it's authentic. You need to go to jail if you're doing that. People don't want to buy something thinking it's authentic and it's really fake. So let people know that something is fake before buying it because you would want to know that, right? So yeah, these are reps and I'm going to put them up for reps so people know. So we have much more to sell. So check out my Depop XO Noble because a lot of this will be up for sale, you guys. Cute pieces, low prices. Okay, so I've switched locations because we're going to be using this background. With this bag, as you can see, perfectly fine condition, literally never worn it. And for it to look its best, we're gonna fill it up with something so that it looks full. So I'm put my do rag in here, and now it looks full. It looks at its best potential. This is really like a really hot neon color, by the way. So I don't know if the camera's picking it up really nicely, but yeah, it's a really nice pink. Oh, I have my phone. You can use your phone. You can even use a camera. But for me, it's more convenient for me to use my phone because this is where I'm gonna be selling it. So. Get my camera app open for so this charm here i've actually made but the first thing you want to do is clean your camera okay a lot of people don't clean their camera and then their pictures are foggy so that is a very important key you don't want anything distracting oh my nail looks a mess too though actually i don't even want my hand in it child so i'm gonna take a picture boom i'll take about five one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. The back side. One, two, three, four, five. And then something else, people want to see the room in it. So I'm going to take this out and then I'm going to take a picture of what the inside looks like. One, two, three, four, five. So now let's go through the pictures to see if any of these are good. Okay. I think I want to retake them because the strap looks a little bent up. Okay, I like this one here. As you can see, that one looks very professional. So I'm going to heart the one I like the most. I'm going to keep scrolling. And this is the inside picture. And then here are the pictures off to the side so people can see the width of it. And yeah. So we got our pictures and we're going to repeat this process for all the other items.
gonna see the results. So this Marcel got full body and that's not what I want. Okay, it's giving body. It's giving body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. I like these a lot. <laughs> I don't think I want to sell these. These are really cute. Sorry, I'm not selling these. We're gonna start listing some stuff up. First, we're gonna list up this bag here. We're gonna go to our favorites. So we're gonna select all of the pieces. All right, so we got all our pictures up, and now I'm just gonna go back and check it. I'm gonna take that one out since it's the same thing. All right, so now you're gonna put a description up. So I'm gonna say hot pink shoulder bag. And then you might want to do a little emoji, something cute. I'm going to do hashtag she in, hashtag Y2K, <laughs> hashtag purse, categories women's wear, it's accessories, and then yeah, the brand is she in, quantity one, condition is brand new. Subcategory, we can put bags and purses. So the color is pink. The style, I'm gonna put Y2K. And then bright. I'm gonna put it up for $7. Domestic or worldwide? I think I'm gonna do domestic. Small. Sometimes a tip, you can include the shipping price in your total and say free shipping but they really are paying for the shipping so for this if i were to do free shipping i would really make this 12 dollar item so i think that's what i'm going to do so that it's yeah make it 12 and then free shipping it's really not free shipping because you know they're paying for the shipping but it looks better you know so now we have our first thing up so just to check you want to make sure the pictures look good so now we have a listing posted, y'all. And that's pretty much the basis of how to get your Depop up and running. So all my items, as you can see, looks really nice and aesthetic. Everything has the same background. I have the pricing and everything. So I got this bag up and I use hashtags like Y2K and Shein, real popular things. And yeah, so hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to check my Depop down below. You may find something you really like. And if you guys do decide to sell on Depop, I hope you guys use my tips. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys subscribe, like, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.